Another important type of reaction that occurs in aqueous solution, meaning that our chemicals that react are dissolved in water, and some of them that are formed are dissolved in water as well, is known as acid-base reactions. An acid and a base will form water and a salt. Before we look any further into the acid-base reactions, let's look at what an acid and what a base is. Here are some formulas of some common acids, and one of the things you will notice that acids all begin with an H, and that's a key structural feature of acids. And if we look at our bases, they all have hydroxide. These first five acids that are listed here are known as strong acids, and I'll go into that definition in a little bit. And this very last one is not a strong acid, but it's a common acid. It's acetic acid, and it is the acid that is found in vinegar. Acids typically have a sour taste. Lemons, grapefruit, citrus fruit, vitamin C are, are all sour because of the presence of acid. Bases, on the other hand, have a bitter taste. Soap is made from bases, and it is slightly basic, and it has a bitter taste. They're also slippery. Soap, ammonia solution, and bleach are some of the basic solutions we come in contact with in our everyday life. And if you recall touching them, you'll remember that they are slippery. So bases are slippery and have a bitter taste, and acids have a sour taste. Now let's take another look at the, um, the acid-base reaction. This is also sometimes known as a neutralization reaction. And generally water and an ionic compound is formed. The old-fashioned term for this ionic compound is called a salt. So when you hear the word salt and water form, it's not necessarily table salt. It's just any ionic compound. Now the term net ionic, we haven't really necessarily gone over, um, but the net ionic means the basic chemistry that occurs. And in an acid-base reaction, here is the H from the acid. It actually exists as an H plus. And here's the OH minus from the base. And when these two combine, even though they are ions to begin with, they form a molecular compound, water. Let's look now in more detail at acids and their structure. First, it is very important for you to be able to identify the strong acids. I will explain this in a little bit, but strong acids are also strong electrolytes. And we remember from our discussion of ionic compounds dissolving that strong electrolytes completely dissociate when they dissolve. There are seven strong acids, and you may remember from Chapter 5 how to name all these acids. The first three are binary acids, hydrochloric, hydrobromic, and hydroiodic. And the last three, oh, excuse me, the last four are oxyanion based. This is nitric, sulfuric, perchloric, and chloric. These are seven strong acids. These are the acids that you must know are strong and any other acid is going to be considered to be weak. And that's important to know because those are what are going to be known as weak electrolytes. And again, I'll go into more detail about the ele electrolyte discussion, but I just want to introduce you to these concepts, strong acids and weak acids. Strong acids are these seven, all other acids are weak. Now, an acid-base reaction is also known as a double displacement reaction, just like precipitation reactions. Because if we look at our reactants and we look at our products, we see that we have a switching of ions. Our H plus is originally with our chloride, but in our product, our H plus is with our hydroxide to form water. And our chloride is originally with our H plus but our chloride in a reactant is now with our sodium. So we have switched our ions. 
Now the difference between an acid-base reaction and a precipitation reaction is that an acid-base reaction we're always going to form water and the water is going to be in the liquid state and we're going to have an acid reacting with a base so we'll form water and then a salt. So that's different from a precipitation reaction because a precipitation reaction is not going to form water. A precipitation reaction is going to form some solid ionic compound. But the acid-base reaction is similar because there is a switching of ions. So to recognize whether an acid-base reaction is occurring, you've got to be able to recognize an acid and a base. So the bases are going to have hydroxide and the acids are going to have H+.